chameleons. You couldn't imagine an animal with more weird and wonderful characteristics. Not only have they got this incredible coloration, these striking stripes and colors, but they can actually change color to blend in with their backgrounds for camouflage. They've also got these amazing turret eyes that can move independently on each side of the head, giving the animal a really broad field of vision. those famous tongues that can fire out and in some species reach up to 30 centimeters to snatch prey. We've also got these incredible prehensile tails that can wrap around sticks and branches. It's almost like a third limb, giving them extra stability. And they also have these highly modified feet. A chameleon's foot is specially adapted for holding onto branches, as you can see. In the chameleon's feet, three of their toes are fused together on one side and two are fused together on the other so that they can clamp branches and give amazing perches. You couldn't design an animal with more unusual characteristics. Chameleons actually come from quite a wide area, from much of Africa, across Arabia, and even parts of Europe. But the greatest diversity of all is in Madagascar. Over a hundred different species live in Madagascar. And they come in all shapes and sizes. Some are tiny, but still with all the strange adaptations of their larger cousins. Madagascar is home to the largest chameleons of all, and the smallest, a tiny Brookesia chameleon that can be just three centimeters long as an adult. Chameleons make really wonderful pets, but they do have very specific requirements that you need to understand and provide in order to keep one successfully. A chameleon about this size would need a tank that's about a cubic meter in size. Of course, there are many smaller species of chameleons that can do with tanks that are much smaller, and of course, many larger species that would need tanks far greater than a cubic meter. But for a guy about this size, a cubic meter should be right. It's important not to keep the tank at floor level. Chameleons don't like animals peering over them. They'll think that that's a predator. It'll stress the animal unnecessarily. So keep them up at waist height on a workbench, and that'll make them much happier. Each species of chameleon has its own different temperature requirement. Panther chameleons like this guy like daytime temperatures of about 30 degrees centigrade and cooler nighttime temperatures, about 26 degrees or so. It's very important to make sure that the tank in which the chameleon lives has a warm area and a cold area. This will allow the animal to thermoregulate. So use a heat lamp in one part of the tank to give a basking area where the chameleon can go and warm up. And make sure that the other area isn't heated so that he can go to that area to cool down when he needs to. Install a UV lamp as well to make sure the animal gets enough UV light to maintain good vitamin D levels, which are very important for good health. Make sure that there's a lot of three-dimensionality to the chameleon's tank. Put in several branches for him to climb on and lots of foliage. 
This will allow him to hide away and feel secure. The chameleons need to be misted about once a day. Don't drench the tank and drench the chameleon. Just give it a bit of a mist and that'll allow him to drink. It's important to use an absorbent substrate like orchid bark chippings. This will absorb excess moisture, but also it will maintain good humidity. An adult chameleon like this guy here should be fed about once every other day. Pop in a few locusts, large crickets or cockroaches into his tank, but be careful not to overfeed him. It's better that he eats ravenously every couple of days rather than has lots of insects scurrying around his tank, which will just stress him out. It's really important to keep only one chameleon in each tank. If you keep multiple together, this will really stress out the animals and eventually one or both will end up dead. For more information, please visit the Weird and Wonderful Pets website where you can download information PDFs and secure your copy of the accompanying book.